What you're looking at here is Twitter and the account of that umbrella guy. Some of you guys might know who this is. Just joking. Probably pretty much everyone does. And it says, Amber Heard Sims contacted the FBI to report pictures of her kids being posted. Problems. She's not in the U.S. They originated in MSM articles. She's likely had her PR team in on it. Right. So... The implication is that Amber sets up people to take pictures and spread them around of her with her daughter. That could be, but she's famous enough where people in Spain do know of her, so they could just be people wanting to get views and clicks and spreading them anyway, but who knows? Let's go 50-50 on that one. Her not being in the U.S. would be a problem. I guess she still counts as a U.S. citizen, so maybe because of that? they'd be able to investigate or something, but it's a bit out of the jurisdiction and absolutely a good point on number one also. So Tug actually retweeted this person, not Gene Thurney, who's on Twitter a bunch, lots of Johnny content. Shout out to Gene, by the way. And Gene says, world's smartest herd stan. She contacted the FBI because someone retweeted pictures of AH and her kid after a media site had already put them up. Now, Eve Ballow also, now back on Twitter, criticized this as well. She said, you can't do that. These are private. Well, guess what? They're not private because MSM used them and they're in public anyway. And just so you know, Cape, there's no expectation of privacy in public in the U.S., so they are free to post the pics sans show more. Okay, well... Not everything Gene said got clipped out there, but we get the idea. Gene pointed out this person. Oh, I've contacted the FBI today about it. Now, this is from May 9th, 2023, just to throw it out there. Forgot to. The point is, we don't actually know if this person called the FBI. Just because somebody tweeted that and said they did, doesn't mean they did whatsoever. In fact, I would bet they didn't. Is there just some hotline you can call? Just type it in and get the FBI right on the phone? Maybe. Haven't been in the U.S. in a very long time, but it might not be that easy just to get some silly little request in about Amber Heard in Spain to the FBI from somebody who's got absolutely no connection to her. Just my own little speculation there. But okay, let's assume this person was silly enough to at least attempt to call the FBI. Gene says, and what did they do after they told you not to waste their time? You know it's not illegal in the U.S., right? It's like all the people who take videos at Disney and have YouTube channels. And Cape Harbor says, last I checked, Amber isn't in the U.S. Then why contact the FBI is what Gene asks, which is what Tug brought up as well, not in the U.S. And as you can see, Amber here is on Oct 2 in my video. I think she's a better fit for Oct 2 than Spain even. And a couple of people pitch in and remind this person, Cape Harbor, that it's not illegal, so you got laughed at. Lord G says, Dear FBI, someone on Twitter posted something I don't like. Can you take away all their internet and maybe send them to Gitmo? It is hurting my feelings when people keep pointing out that I am wrong about things. And here's what I said. Also, posting pictures of children taken in public is not illegal. The heavy says, as Bugs Bunny would say, what a bunch of maroons. Can't quite recall that one. But all right, the heavy. Uh, thank you. Nice comment, I guess. So the point here for me is definitely not if the FBI was actually called. The point is, the crazy things that people defending Amber say, true or not, they called the FBI? Is that supposed to be scary? Am I supposed to not post pictures that have been posted, I don't know, probably 500 times before I got to them or something like that? 50 times? Who knows? Point is, they're in circulation. Pretty much, you could say, public knowledge. Anyway, let me know what you think down below. Following social media, usually the little skirmishes between herd fans and depth fans, things like that. But when something relevant comes up about Amber or Johnny, I'll be covering it. And if you're not subscribed here, consider it. If you don't, I'll be pretty sad about it.
but I'll get over it. Little Christopher Walken moment there. Okay, we're done. See you next time.